Or and all that, all to do with the, the ocean. If you, you know, you just look at your, uh, we go and buy a boat, what does it say? You know, it says all those things. So, uh, and then the third time, um, uh, the second time he slammed his hammer and, and went out, and then the third time that he came back and called me up, and that, um, that there is known as ecclesiastical canon law of the land. So now I'm dealing with the Pope. <coughs> That's what it is. I'm dealing with the Pope. So now we learn that it's a Catholic thing. That's why he's in the black cloak with the thing. That's Catholic. It's Catholic. So now I'm dealing with the Pope. So, um, in regards to all of that, this is how you really want to approach it that I've learned and all that. And so, um, what I should have done and all that, but I had to learn as, as I went along, you know. Um, so, what I should have done was uh, when he said, Lyndon Meyer, are you administrating the Lyndon Meyer Constructive Trust? Bang, he sends his hammer, he goes off, he comes back. And that calls my name, Lyndon Meyer. I stand up and I ask the same question again. Are you administrating Lyndon Meyer Constructive Trust? Now, if he rumbles and raves on, da 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 da, I'll arrest you, this and that. <coughs> um, uh, and carries on. When he's finished ranting on and that, you ask him to clarify for the court was that a yes or a no to your question? And that, so what you're doing is that you're staying with your question, you're not going adrift in the mind. So that means that you're being directive in that, and that's what they don't like, someone directive, because you're directing yourself back to that same question. You ask them a question, are you administrating the Lyndon Meyer Constructive Trust? He started ranting, oh, get in, get in, get my corner, I'll read me a lesson, da, 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 da. But that's not what you ask them, you understand? You ask them that. Is that the answer? Is, can you clarify for that for the court? Is that a yes or a no? Because that's the only answer that you should be needing. By now he's going to slam off and he's going to go because why? Because there's three contracts at Maritime, Admiralty and, can and Ecclesiastical Canon Law. So three times, three contracts. So the first one, boom, he's already closed it off because he won't answer yes to the constructive. The second time he comes out like that, he's going to be an arsehole and start threatening you and all this sort of shit. And that. Now, when the judge says something that, for example, oh. under this act, da -da 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 -da, do you understand? You all will always reply, I do not understand. And as soon as you say that, I do not understand, you'll notice that the police will turn to you and step forward and to come and, and, that, and the judge, and you may hear the judge say, arrest him. And that, and boom, and, the, and they'll come in. The police will start coming towards you. What you do is you take a step back like that, put your hands like this, and repeat, but I will conditionally accept your claims. The moment you say that, the police will stop and they'll go back to the walls of where they were standing. I'm telling you, it's like some matrix shit, but I'm telling you, that saying alone will push the police off and back. And so, that's what you reply every time a judge says, do you understand? Because if you un say, yes, I understand, it means you understand his power, his authority, he has everything over right. And then he can have you thrown in prison for 15 fucking years if he wants to. And all that, but he's got to get that contract, he's got to get you to... To, to, to willfully give him that before he can make those claims because no judge like his other bros and judges and that they won't allow that there's certain rules and that so he's not allowed to and that they've got to get it all, all freely from the people by tricking them so don't give them that so um, that's important so every time the judge and, that, and that's what they'll normally do is rant if you don't bloody answer me I'll throw you in jail and then they'll go arrest that man you know and, do you understand I do not understand. Arrest that man! But I will conditionally accept your claims. And then that's it. They'll stop. On certain conditions, you'll accept what he's claiming. Right? On certain conditions. That's what you've said. And that. But you'll feel the power on that pushback, yeah. But never understand. And then, the third time, he goes out, he comes back, he's going to have a different attitude, and he's going to be a real whole high attitude, and he's just going to look around like this, and he's just going to say, all right, what do you want, you know, because now he knows that he can't make claim on you, because you're going to stick to that same question, if he says, Lyndon Meyer, and I'm going to reply, are you administrating Lyndon Meyer Constructive Trust, every time he says my name, I'm going to mention, ask that same question over and over and over, and then until I get a yes or a no, but they won't say yes, and all that, but when he come out the third time, he didn't say Lyndon Meyer, they just said, what do you want, oh, that was later off the line, when, when I got on to about, I think, one, two, about the third judge. So I did the same thing to him. Yeah. You know? And all that. By the third time he came out, he said, Oh, man, what do you want? So I said, Dismiss all claims and discharge all charges under the 1909 Pool of Exchange Act. That's and what you asked him? No, that's what I, that's what I wanted. Yeah. 
Oh. Because so they, you said, oh, what do you want? He said, what, what do I want? What are you yeah. wanting? Yeah, what? because he, I'd beaten him those two times. Yeah. So by the third time, and then he wasn't going to play the fucking game anymore. He was oh. like, oh, yeah, okay, bro, what do you want? You know who I am. I know who you are. So yeah, yeah you, you, you know who we are. Okay. Yeah. All right, Linda, you know who we are. So what do you want? Yeah. yeah, all right, bro. These, uh, you know, these officers and that place some charges on me, bro. I want them dismissed and, dis and discharged. Yeah. So according to this uh, uh, 1908 Bill of Exchange, which we have here in New Zealand, it, it, it says on a discharge that we can use to discharge any charges. So I'd like to use that Bill of Exchange, and that, boom. Okay, Lennon, what is the Bill of Exchange? Uh, the birth, uh, my, my Bill of Exchange is the uh, birth. Uh, uh, is this? birth certificate here and that's the receipt number down there and that's your birth date and that's my receipt number so that's that, that's my uh, instrument and that's my bill of exchange then so that's to be treated as cash according to judge neil yeah the bill of exchange is to be treated as cash mm -hmm. so that's what judge neil said yeah. yeah so that's what they're after those are the claim assets and all that sort of stuff all to do with personal property and shit like that yeah. so yeah so they can move it all around and then move, move shares here and there and, yeah. Take this, take that. So yeah, that's the money. that's how that that's how that fucking thing works in that world. You know, that's their world. Yeah. No. So when world. you go in that world, you think, oh, you, I went in there and had to play around and took to yeah. see what I was for. Straight away, straight away, I was like, oh yeah, cool. I'm gonna get me five Ferraris now. You yeah. know. But then I was told that uh, if I, I I couldn't do that because. Um, it, it comes from out from the public trust and it, and it, and it falls back onto the public. Yeah, onto yeah. the taxpayers. Onto the taxpayers' pockets. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but it's alright to get one. So that's why our taxes and that go up. That's why the police and all that because you know the pirates are demanding more and more fucking credits, man. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. Because uh, they need to create a debt because that's what creates the the money. Yeah. Without debt, there's no money to be made. You know. So yeah. they have to create. A debt, like the government who created 63 billion for vaccinations, you know. Yeah. So she created that debt. Now, 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 our is in debt. Now we have to pay it back. Now we have to pay, this, they pay back by whatever yeah. um, metals. I think metals, metals. That's what money is. Eh? It's all about the trading of the metals and all that. But they're trying to. Um, yeah. So. Those are the, those are just the games that they play. But that affidavit, and that, you know, when I use it on the police and I use it on a judge, it fucking really does speak a lot of truth. Yeah. You know, that's, I had that, look, that's Australia, bro, Victoria. So that's how long I've had it. <laughs> you know? I've had it for And ages. none of them have signed it yet. <laughs> no. He's the court cases yeah. sign this affidavit. Yeah. I've, 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 I've signed it. That, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Tell me that your authority signed this affidavit on yeah. here. <laughs> so yeah, so if he did make the affidavit, I would I would sign it here again, right? And I am the the witness that was authorised. Then I would get sworn at, and then I would put in the state here on the state, and then I would get him to write that. Uh, he is the authority and yeah. all that, you know. Because if he, if, if that, and say, because if you're authority, bro, then I'll give you all authority, bro. You can have whatever you like, brother. If mm -hmm. you want, if you want that, uh, to leave, well, you can have to leave, bro. But you have to be authority. You have to be authorized to do such a thing, bro. Mm -hmm. So, but now that you're saying your authority and you and you're not willing to write it down, what the fuck does that tell anybody, bro? Yeah. You know. So if you, you if, don't if, even if you were at work you and you saw the stranger come in. And then, and then walk up, like say in the meat works, and a stranger walked in and then, and walked up and then um, grabbed all big boxes of steaks and was walking out and go, hey bro, who are you? And he said, I'm authority. <laughs> you go, fuck off bro. <laughs> hey, hey bro, fuck off bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you wouldn't do it in your workplace, but when a policeman walks up and does the same thing, we go, oh yes. You know, yeah. because of the image. Yeah. Hey, yeah. He's a public servant that works for... You know? Yeah. Oh, my neighbour is harassing me. Can you tell over there and tell them to be quiet? Thanks. Thank you, mate. You know? If they play up, yeah, arrest them. You know? yeah. Because all they need to do is th the police are based on three things, and that's um, um, anger, silence, and contact. So if I touch that, yeah. straight away I can be arrested and done for assault. 
I went like that. Because yeah. okay. that's contact. Yeah. No contact. That's right. No, that's contact. Yeah. So boom, yeah. you can. Or if you cut off, you off. I touched anyone. Yeah. Anyone, you know. So that's contact, contact. You boom, you can be arrested. So they're allowed to arrest you. That's their power. That's their. That's their rules. Um, contact. Uh, what was the other one? Um, uh, angry. So if you get angry, they say, "Oh, look, you you want a bad state of mind," and um, they can arrest you. You know. And that because you're acting, you don't, there's no need to be angry. You yeah. should be calm. Yeah. You know, so when people are yelling at, you know, angry at the police, um, they arrest you. But if you do it my way, by the time you finish with it, you can swear at them and that because you're growling them, it's different. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. Because always tell them, do your fucking job properly at the end of the day. Like, do your fucking job properly, bro. Yeah, and that, that's growling them. It's something yeah. different. It's not being angry. Because you know? <laughs> if they've got children, oh, yeah, okay. They just got to growl them, you know. And, um, and the other one, and this is the main one, silence. Silence is dangerous. That's why they give you a right. You have the right to remain silent. You know? If you remain silent, right? <coughs> it means you're defeated. Yeah. It's because you don't stand and protect your rights. So if someone that's silent, and that they can say, the cops can write and, and say anything, and this man's going to be silent. And so that binds you into that contract. Yeah. So silence is a bad thing. Yeah. Never be silent. That's never. what they want you to be silent. Yeah. yeah. So they can. So and it, yeah, you. because you're not you're not fighting back. Yeah. And yeah. that's what they say. Some a man that doesn't assert his rights has no rights. Yeah. So if you think your rights, boom, you know what I mean. Yeah. So what's our what's our rights when when we use the affidavit? Is that we have the or right to if the people that claim to be authority? Then they should be able to write it down. Yeah. You know, with a signature. Yeah. And that we have their right to ask that, or you know. Cause I, I could I could get a police uniform or get one stitched up and made it and looked apart and pull up at someone's house and act like a police. Yeah. Hey, it's yeah. hey, busting you for your for your marijuana. Hey, busting you for your marijuana. It's the police bust and then walk out and then go home to my house and then pull it out and you know, <laughs> and guns thought I was the uh, authority. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you? But that's all it is. It's a fucking. It's a fucking. It's a real, it's a unaware. So they just protect and serve through the authorities. public. Yeah, yeah. So if a man was screaming in the library, yeah. he's going to rant and you call the police and he deals with it. You yeah. know? Hey. Yeah. That's how they get dealt with. So you can't even go on a false accusation. Eh? No. Someone falsely accused someone of doing something yeah. in a library. Yeah. You can't, they can't do that, eh? No, they can't. But that's what they, that's what they operate under. And, all that. and I suppose my method is... Um, is really... getting them to remember who they are and um, why they put that uniform on. And giving them a bit of a wake-up call there and then, and then um, giving them a bit of a growling because you end up giving them a bit of a growling at the end because they, they will yeah. start walking around like a bit of um, like a bunch of dumbwits bro <laughs> well they do bro often when, when I've done, I've done it to days. so many and they don't even walk around and there's like a bunch of dumbwits bro mm. like yeah. what the, even yeah. the police hey bro you know hey, bro front desk want to talk to you mate front desk <laughs> want to talk to you bro you get the fuck out of here yeah. What he just did, I know, but but what the police get scared of is that they've already made their claim and they know that they fucked up, but they didn't know it was going to go like that until until you hit them with all that shit. Yeah. But yeah. they were pulling you up and oh yeah, we're going to go make a claim over here. But then all of a sudden the shit backfires. The thing is, fuck, and see now they're stuck in the strut. They don't know how to get out of it. Yeah. You know? yeah. And this is how you get out of it. Don't send that claim in the fucking mail, bro. Just get the fuck off here and see how to go, home, bro. Yeah. Go home or go and do what you're supposed to do. Do your fucking job. Always finish off. Always finish off. Do your fucking job properly, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Always. Straight up, my bro. Man, woman, bro, the uniform, do your fucking job properly, yeah? <laughs> no. You know why? You growl them like that? Because of the, the, the fear that they inflict on the people in their homes and the yeah. fucking children. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So give them a growling, bro, after you fucking beat them up with the affidavit. You yeah. know? But it's amazing how this one thing can put or stop all of that and 
in the, in the tracks. That, that, that piece, fucking piece of paper with words on it, bro. <laughs> it's how powerful this shit is. <laughs> Who needs a sword and a shield? Eh? Wow, dude, I got this thing. <laughs> Here it is, bro. I'll cut you with the that paper cut. Dude, I'll give you a paper cut now. All right. <laughs> It's just fucked up. You know? yeah. But, you know, if that's the, if that's the world they play in, then that's, so we, then that's we the world they play in. the cops up. Yeah. Or an affidavit. Yeah, just make it, and, they, and just make it keep them consciously aware, you know? Yeah. Know their, where they stand. So, yeah, so, and part of the process is to, is, is to expose them that what they've said and done, and that is an imposter. And that on our funeral pretending to be something that they're not, and, and that was clear in the evidence because you'll be filming it. It was clear in the evidence. You, you said he was a, um, um, you said he was authority, and he said he worked for the government. <laughs> You're not allowed to work for the government, bro. You know that. <laughs> you got to work for the people. Yeah. Right? Go and say that in the courtroom, Mister Police Officer. Go and say you work for the government. <laughs> there, bro, you end up in prison, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Go and say it in the courthouse, no, nah, no, nah, I won't say it there, yeah, Jeez. of course you won't there, you fucking shit, so why are you going out there telling everybody that's who you work for, you clown? <laughs> Fuck, tricks of the trade, talk about, yeah, switch it off. Hey, that's what I think, yeah. Hey, you private assholes that are running the cops, you thought it's got enough fucking steak in your fridge? Yeah, bro, fall out, well, good now, fuck off, bro. Private corporation. Yeah, do your own shit, bro. Yeah. So I can't really wait. Actually, it's going to be very, very fucking interesting when we get home, my boy. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what happened? To, did we smoke that big joint? Um, oh, let's have another one. No, oh, I'm pretty sure it's in there. No, no, it's all. Oh, oh I've got police. Yeah. Hey? I think I've got police. Oh, no, I've swallowed one of these. I've swallowed one of these. What you gave me a good thing? Oh, I've swallowed it, bro. Soon there, bro. Keep doing it. Did you, uh, did you manage to get a template for the, for, um, PPSO? Yeah. No, it's fucking Shay hasn't messaged me back. Oh, well, I'll just wait. Well, as soon as he sends, as soon as he sends me the,